If you bothered to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I've been some un- Okay. Don't be dumb. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway on this. Why do I have to tell her? You're the one that- Okay, fine, whatever. There's only one explanation I can think of for the explosion. Okay. And burn the upper half. Okay. Fake nails, that can't be it. There's a bit of charred debris. It should be noted that the bomb that had been... So it's hard to imagine these two events are unrelated. Okay. Oops, okay. Okay, sorry, what was the question again? I wasn't really paying attention. There's only one I can think of for the explosion, okay. Aside from getting rid of the evidence. I got it! After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know, I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like a fucking pickaxe, right? Because, of course... We saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. Where is it though? I can't see the red thing. It's oh. part of a bomb. Okay, maybe it is. I don't know. Oh! Then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the mint. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Yakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't okay. The facts of the case regardless. Kind of flip-flopping around the area, isn't he? All right. We need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. It's either the explosion... Oh, no, it's the arrows. What am I saying? Derp. <laughs> Monokuma found number five. That's our only evidence. Okay. That is that thing. So, due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. Okay, never mind. I'm not saying it because the explosion was death. Okay. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They also had been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Huh. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Okay. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? God damn it, that meme is... There's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Damn it. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Okay. The knife was a cover-up, and all those other wounds on her body weren't fresh. Which only leaves... Then shall we continue the debate? Okay. The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? Fatal injury. didn't kill her for sure. Okay. I guess. Well, yeah. She was already told me that it wasn't me because of the knife, right? Was the knife me? God damn it. There's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that you And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Okay. Then shall we... Alright, let me read the file again. Okay, so, also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. 
The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So these wounds would have been... well... I feel like those wounds would have been because of the soldier motif, so... Mm. This one's tough. The victim's fatal injury has to be determined, correct? Explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah, she was already told me that happened. And it might be because of the night, I mean, there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, According to the monitor, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. No, it's not it. Shoot! Because I feel like the countless wounds would have been fade would not be fatal because. Fun. Did he have a line after that? Okay, that can't be it either. Okay, the knife was a cover up, and all those other wounds on her body weren't fresh, which only leaves. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Shit. Well, yeah. She was thinking nothing needed to be me. Yes, I'm here. Um, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that she annoyed him bad. The victim had suffered countless wounds across her body. It's not it either. It has to be that because, like, the wounds weren't fresh. Shoot. Then shall we continue? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Yes. Oh my god, okay. There's a lot of thinking here. You guys are probably just watching me like, No, it's this answer, it's so obviously that one answer. I'm sorry, I'm under pressure here and I... Oh, okay. Before the blast... Stabbed a single time with a knife completely through the body. The knife was a cover-up. Struck in the head with an object as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were several, at least several days old. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. There's only one of the Oh, yeah. Um... There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Okay. I technically only have one chance at this, but you know, I have infinite chances, right? I'm sorry for being then, such a continue the idiot debate? boy. The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. Correct. The victim's fatal injury. Explosion didn't kill her for sure. Death. Yeah. It's set something the Monocle cool file itself. And it wasn't me. Maybe this is a way to I feel like it's only too far there to contradict. But um Wasn't there another fucking murder weapon somewhere? The fucking arrows. Why? Okay, hold on. Titanium arrows are found in a Doja Locker. They appear to be ten total. Alteration was found in Kyoko's room. It looked like it's actually the case for the I haven't come up with this yet. Along with the arrows, there was also a wadded up ball of duct tape in the locker. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself, but. That's gotta be it! There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head! I'm just gonna guess by now because I honestly. Okay. Let's continue this further. This is two game over, that's fine. This has gotta be like the hardest case so far. Just due to how the information is definitely not as obvious as it appears. Is okay. I Let's try this again. Give up yet. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get an achievement or anything, but that's fine. Okay. Got five chances again. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion Oops. didn't kill her for sure. Not the explosion, I don't think so. Well, yeah, she was thinking nothing needed to be done. There's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. 
Not that either, okay. I might be on the uh, wrong track here, I'm just randomly- I don't know. Honestly, I'm feeling like I'm just doing the whole objection thing again. Because I have no clue. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead. It wasn't me because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, let me read the sentence before Toko's line. The victim had suffered countless wounds across her Let me see, hold on. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. She was, she was already totally dead when that happened. It wasn't me because of and it wasn't because of the knife, right? Okay. One other thing. Oh, yeah. Um. Unless it really is, and it's oh, fuck. What the? Ugh, wrong button. Oops. Not the trooper, sorry. Oh, actually, yeah, the trooper, I'm sorry. The victim has been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. A single time. I mean, that's one way to kill a body, right? But we kind of disproved the whole fucking knife thing, right? Unless I'm, I'm thinking, like, abstract. I should really think abstractly, maybe. Maybe the knife was both the cover-up and the murder weapon? What the fuck? I don't know. God, fuck. Alright. Let's try this. Yeah, it's not it. Okay, I'm way on the off track then. Okay. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm probably gonna look up a walkthrough after this because I'm really stuck here. It's not the explosion. Wait, no, no. She's saying it's not the explosion. What the fuck am I saying? God damn it! Ugh, I'm fucking everything up here. Okay. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. I already did that, I believe, so... It's not the explosion, clearly. I think I've covered all my tracks here, right? So it has to be, like... Back of the head. Let me look at the knife and then the countless wounds. Injury. The explosion didn't kill her. Not the explosion. Alright. It's not that either. So she could, it could have been like, it can't be like knife wounds from previous times during the soldier. I'm really stuck, honestly. Holy shit. Fatal injury. I'm sorry, guys. I. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Explosion. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. Wait, 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 wait. What did it say about her self inflicting wounds beforehand? Body. Okay, never mind. It's silver as well. It can't be it either. Thick as a metal pipe. Okay. What's as thick as a metal pipe? Titanium's pretty thick. But uh, I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. Oh, sorry. Oh my fucking god. And it wasn't me because of the knife, right? Alright, one more chance. There's only one. Figure this shit out. If I can't get this through, then I'm looking at Walker. That's gotta be it. Maybe it's gonna make a lot more clear sense right here if I. And more than that, the victim had suffered. Really think, man. Really think. The knife was a cover-up, and all those other wounds on her body weren't fresh. Except for the fucking... Goddamn, oops. Only her previous self-inflecting wounds were not fresh, right? What about the bump to the head? Had been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. Okay, it's only saying... But these were at least several days old. Is it... Are they talking about both the other wounds? Or... The, both the other wounds and the metal pipe object? Or just the other wounds? But these were... So it's saying these, so it's plural. So it has to be referring to both the metal pipe and the other wounds. Okay. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? <laughs> the 
Ooh! Okay, there we go. Okay, we got it. First try, holy shit, not really first try, but died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? Okay, so when it said okay, that, those had to be okay, so never mind. I was wrong. The one that I say they were referring to the old old wounds that were years wait long or whatever it's called. Uh, those were the ones that it's not it, so it can't be those. It has to be the head head trauma. The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. But then, what was the murder weapon? The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blonde object about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe! How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it'd encase their skull in completely. The back of the pickaxe? At the same time, yeah, that is a good point. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. Wouldn't it be easy to kill someone with the other side of the pickaxe, though? Way! The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you... No, thanks. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours. <laughs> I feel okay. We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? Alright. The real murder weapon. I think this is where the arrows come in, I believe. At least I hope so. Titanium arrows, they're thick as a metal pipe. They're fucking really thick. So... Mukuro was hit in the back of the head with something, and that's what killed him. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Arrow? That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds... Remember, guys, titanium arrows. Do you know how strong titanium is? I don't blame Hina for downing it because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. Okay. Here we go, next task. Alright. Bloody duct tape, wood block key, and titanium arrows. Alright, here we go. The titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? Right. I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound too good. Okay, that has to be it, yeah. Well, because in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe. Titanium arrows, guys! Titanium arrow would just be too thin. Guys, titanium arrows! <laughs> you have no right! Okay, whatever. Okay, bloody duct tape. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves with the bloody duct tape. If it's just that titanium arrow, it wouldn't be nearly thick enough. Which is why they used wood block key. No, it can't be it. it was in the dojo lock bloody duct tape. All right, hold on. What's a bloody duct tape do? I think I thought that was only for. Uh... Right. Along with the arrow, there was also a wadded up ball of blood uh, duct tape on the locker. The duct tape had traces of blood on it. It's assumed that this was related to the case, but nobody can imagine how. Okay, bloody duct tape. Covering up the blood. It's actually pierced. So, yeah, that's probably my guess. Actually, I might not be in the off track with the bloody duct tape, actually. No doubt that was the murder weapon. I right, can't that be that. You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, in the Monokuma file, I don't see how. The weapon must have been about as thick as a metal. It seems like an arrow. There we go. No, it's wrong. And we'll get to this explanation after the break. Stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned.